Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I really want to go ahead and just talk through my goals, both beauty related and channel related for 2019. I actually made a video about my 2018 goals on my channel back in January 2018, and that was one of the first videos that I ever posted to this channel after committing to an actual posting schedule, and I had a lot of fun filming my reaction to that video and talking about how my goals for the year actually went. If you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards if you would like to check it out. But doing that, like I had it was just very enlightening and I had a lot of fun doing it so I really wanted to do another video for 2019 with the goals that I now have for the channel and for my makeup and my makeup application so that come December 2019 I can kind of do the same thing and have something I can reflect back on. So before we jump into this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like these kinds of New Year's resolution-ish videos. I don't know what I was trying to say there. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So I have three basically beauty related goals and then four channel related goals that I want to focus on for 2019. I'll do the beauty goals first if you want to skip kind of like the behind the scenes YouTube -y kind of goals. So the first beauty goal that I have is I want to focus more on editorial dramatic looks and then I put slash lashes because my 2018 goals one of them was to focus more on false lashes and false lash application which I didn't really do too much I'm not I'm definitely not a girl that can put on false lashes every day I'm not at that point yet but when it comes to more dramatic looks when it comes to maybe some tutorials I really do want to try more lashes because I think they're super nice and they look amazing and I think part of the hurdle or the issue is that I have really hooded lids so sometimes trying to find a nice lash is difficult because they can very easily overpower my eyes but I do have a few lashes and lash styles that I think look really good on me and that I really enjoy and they're sitting right over here in my drawer that I never touch so I'm gonna make it a point to try more looks with lashes and try more dramatic looks. That does kind of slide into a YouTube goal where I do want to post more tutorials, but personally I just want to step out of my comfort zone and do some more editorial looks that maybe aren't your necessary everyday glam because um, I have so much inspiration. I have an entire folder of like pictures on my computer just about looks that have inspired me and I really want to try some more of those. Maybe do a lot more get ready with me's and just experiment. The next goal that I have for 2018, 2018, excuse you, the next goal that I have for 2019 is that I really want to try more indie brands. I definitely have a sizable makeup collection at this point and I feel like I'm really familiar with a lot of like the mainstream brands but I'm still fairly ignorant about indie brands and I really want to try out more of those. I've tried out a couple this year like I think Melt Cosmetics counts as indie. I've tried out a few other smaller brands like Geek Chic Cosmetics. I really want to try some more from their brands. I really want to focus more when I do purchase on some more unique products since I now have a sizable collection that does have a lot of my mainstream brands. <laughs> um, so I really do want to get out of the box and try some more indie brands. I know it's a bit more difficult because, you know, shipping is a bit more expensive and the products are maybe as expensive as the higher end brands. But I'm not gonna like go on a low buy or anything because I'm pretty good at kind of regulating what I'm picking up. I, I don't want that to stop me from trying some products that I might be interested in from these brands. So if you have any indie brands that you really like or really enjoy, please let me know down below because I really do want to try experimenting more of those brands in 2019. Okay, and my last kind of beauty related goal kind of ties also into YouTube, but this is more of using what I have. Like I said, I'm not really gonna go on a low buy or a no buy I'll talk about that a little bit later but I do want to shop my stash more often because it's actually gotten to the point this is this is you can roast me for this in the comments but it's gotten to the point where I kind of forget what I own especially when you have as many eyeshadow palettes as I do especially when you have glitters and loose you've just got a lot of stuff and I'm no way complaining I have no way you know trying to say like oh woe is me I have too many things no that's a me thing I've been cultivating my makeup collection for almost three years now so of course after three years of collecting you're gonna have a lot of stuff 
What I want to do is dedicate at least once a month because I do go through and I do my everyday makeup basket, but even then I tend to reach for like recent favorites and whatnot. I need to actually sit down, go through all of my eyeshadow palettes, go through all of my foundations, go through all of my everything at least once a month just to kind of be aware of what I still have in my collection. Because the first time I looked into my collection and I saw a palette and I was like, oh, I forgot I had that. I was like, yeah, now you're at a point where you need to be more aware of what you have because that's also going to help inform my future purchases because like, I don't wanna accidentally be in a position to pick up something that's so similar to what I already have, right? So that's something I really want to work on. Not only do I want to do my everyday makeup baskets for, you know, the months, I, I want to do a deep dive into my collection at least once a month. Okay, so switching from beauty-related goals, we're going to jump into channel-related goals. So for my YouTube channel, what do I want my goals to be for 2019? These are all things that I'm going to be working on. I don't want to put, like, a number goal or anything. I'm not aiming to get, like, 3,000, 4,000 subscribers by X date. I really want to work on the quality of my channel and on the quality of my content. So my first goal, of course, is just to keep up with my posting schedule. I post five times a week and I have for quite a few months now. And then for December, with the exception of December 1st, I was able to get a video up every day of the month. I was pretty proud of myself for doing that. It was kind of a spur of the moment decision to do the vlogmas and post a video every day, but I'm glad I did it. It was a challenge and I really enjoyed it and I had a whole lot of fun, but I do want to stay with a manageable schedule. So I am going to stick to Monday through Friday and I, I want to commit to that. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job on that so far, but that's just going to be an ongoing goal is to make sure I keep up with my posting schedule or if anything does happen, if anything comes up, to update you guys either on my Twitter account or through the community tab or, you know, just get the word out there if anything does change. My next goal, one that I mentioned briefly before, is just to work on more tutorials. I feel like my channel used, I used to do more tutorials than I do now. Um, they definitely don't get as many views as the rest of my videos do, but I do want to focus on looks and on tutorials and maybe not just tutorials for like X palette or Y palette. I really want to focus on looks and maybe bringing in different products and maybe not even maybe not even showing the products maybe saying oh well maybe get like a light blue like this shade or maybe focus more on brandless tutorials but overall i do want to post more tutorials i have a bunch planned with my new pan that palette so i'm hoping to do more tutorials of that one i really want to shop my stash so this ties into one of the other goals shop my stash more pull out some older palettes and do more of the palette resurrection series i did a couple palette resurrections i didn't keep up with the series i do want to keep up with that series and pull out some of the older palettes and do more tutorials do a lot more three looks one palette do some more two looks one palette just whatever I really have time for because I really do enjoy getting to experiment with palettes like that. The next channel related goal that I have is to focus on my lighting. So my lighting has gotten eons better than what it used to be but I still feel like I struggle when it's not daylight outside because I am in an attic everything slanted like this <laughs> and when I have to film before I go to work in the morning it is pitch black and sometimes I can struggle so part of this is I kind of want to invest in an umbrella kit if I can find one that'll fit here because the way my setup is right now I'm right up against my corner and the slanting is like right here so it's it's hard to get perfect lighting right here but I do have my ring light I do have an LED light right over here and I have a lamp so I would like to have a permanent light fixture right here and not a lamp that I have to like pull over every time and maybe get a better light for back here because if I can make this area brighter, I think it will definitely help when I'm filming when it's pitch black outside. So that's the main goal is just to kind of standardize my lighting because there are a lot of videos where now it looks really great and it's good and I can fix it in post if it's not, but it's, it's not standard across the board like I still have some videos where the lighting is very iffy so I, I do want to work on that a lot and my last channel related goal and last goal for 2019 is I would love to do more collabs 
I was so lucky and grateful to do quite a few lovely collabs in 2018 and I would love to do some more in 2019. I, I don't want to like spam collabs like too much but I would love to just make some more friends. I've made some great friends in 2018 through YouTube and through my channel and through panning and I, I want to continue that momentum. I want to keep reaching out to the community. I would love to do some more collabs, maybe project themed, maybe tutorial themed, maybe palette themed, whatever it is. I would like to just do more collabs on this channel. So those are all of my goals for 2019. We'll see how these hold up and how December 2019 Monica will react to this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any goals, be it resolutions, beauty goals, channel goals, whatever, let me know down below. I would love to share all of our resolutions with each other and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.